In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make objects disappear and reappear while animating in Blender. Now, if you don't know what I mean, I mean have objects disappear and then reappear in Blender. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So let's go ahead and start a new file. Uh, default view, let's make sure we're in Cycles Render. And I'm going to select this light here, and I'm going to make it the sun. Uh, let's go Strength of 3. I kind of like that. Now let's go NumPad 0 to go to our camera view. Select our cube. Let's give it a material. I like red, so I'm going to move it to red. And now come over here to our rendered view. You can see our red cube. Now let's go ahead and split our screen. And we're going to go to the node editor. Move our material output. We're going to add in two shaders. First shader we're going to add is a mix shader. And then we're going to add in a transparent shader. Let's go ahead and connect them. Now if you see over here, once we move this factor, it's actually appearing and disappearing in, in Blender. So we're going to animate this bar right here. So let's go to frame 24, and with it at the factor at 0, we're going to press I. You can see it go yellow, that's how you know it worked. We're going to go to frame 48, move the factor up to 1, and press I again. Now let's go to the beginning of the video, press play. See our object disappear, it worked. Now we can go the other way as well. Let's go to frame 72, move our factor back to zero and press I. So now we have our object that disappears and reappears. So something to keep in mind here, uh, you can have any node setup you want. So it doesn't just have to be a diffuse shader. You can have a, as many nodes as you want. It just has to end with a mixed shader connected to a transparent shader. And that's it. Thank you for watching.